Hey, what's the deal, man? Miss Low coming at you, man. On this throwback Thursday, man. Yeah, check this out, man. They talking about dreams, man. Do you support a person's dream or do you kill a dream? Let's say you had a person, man, that was in your life, man. You know, a good friend or a family member, man, that you real close to, man. And one of their dreams was to be successful, right? And in, in the process of being successful, man, they done spent all their money, all their time. They spending all their money. They spending all their time investing in this dream. But the dream ain't popping. It's been two, three years, man. Four, five years, and the dream just ain't popping, man. So they like, do you keep encouraging the person, you know what I'm saying, follow your dreams, or do you be like, hey, man, that ain't it, you know what I'm saying? This might not be the time. The dream is good, but then this might not be the time for your dream to come alive, right? So I was thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, man, that's cool, man, you know what I'm saying? Because Ricky Smiley was talking about one of his friends had a dream to be a runway model, but she in a wheelchair. So he like, mama, that ain't gonna be that ain't gonna be possible. You ain't gonna be able to do that, man, because you're in a wheelchair. You want to be a runway model. I mean, you got to walk down the runway. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So they were going back and forth on that. And I understand what he was saying. I understand what other people saying. You can change the projective. Don't know. You know what I'm saying? She might just be that pure in the face, that beautiful in the face, to where they be like, you know what? Let's go and get that shop because it is some people in wheelchair that buy clothes. People in wheelchair that do shop. You know what I'm saying? So. As I was listening to it, I was like, damn. Boy, if a lot of things that we gave up on because somebody tried to tell us that that wasn't it, what would you be? You know what I'm saying? My wife did 16 years with me from 99 to 2015. What would we be if we didn't keep the faith and keep, keep it alive, keep on fighting for it? That was her first child that we got, my son. She had him when, he was, when she was 40. If she would've gave up on that when all the doctors were saying, what would we be? You know what I'm saying? Her student loans. All the most student loans she had got from college, man. If she would've gave up on that too, where would it be? Cause all her student loans are gone. When Biden was talking about getting rid of student loans and everybody this and everybody that, and some was applying and some wasn't applying, my wife was one of the people that applied. So her belief and her dream was still there and whoop, all the student loans are gone. Now, I understand what they saying, man, but hey, man, you know, I don't know if I support them. I may support you, you know what I'm saying? I can't invest in it like you invest in it because that's your dream. And your dream only come alive when you make it come alive or someone supporting you that believe in you like that to help you make that come alive. But it's all on you and the energy and spirit that God put in you to make your dream come alive. Your dream ain't everybody's dream, you dig? So, hey. But the thing about it is, do you encourage the person to stay focused and, you know, support them? Or do you be like, nah, that ain't it, man. You got to let that one go. Go to plan B. Let's see what plan B talking about. But it is what it is because it's throwback Thursday. It's raining. It's looking good. Wish I didn't have to go to work. Wish I could stay home, sip, smoke, and drink, and look up out the motherfucking me patio, man, and just chill. You hear me? Low, King, Southside, I'm out. Uh,